I'll assume that you've read the passage. Which of the following would support the idea that the bone tools in question were used as calendars? Um, so we need to support the idea that these were used to mark off a year, because that's what calendars do. A, the discovery of a bone with um, 12 groups of roughly 30 notches each. Well, that would match up to 12 months. Um, 12, no 12 months of roughly 30 days each. That would be a pretty good calendar, so that would be possible for strengthening it. Uh, B, an expedition that unearthed a dozen similar bone tools within a mile of each other. That would just say that, hey, you know, people use these. It doesn't mean that it would, it doesn't strengthen the idea that they were calendars. Uh, C, a bone with three columns of notches that double and have the number of solar rotations in a month. Um, I don't actually really even understand what this means. It's basically the same thing as what happens uh, on one of these sticks here. It says, in support of the latter theory is the observation that the notches appear to double or have from column to column. Um, and it's been suggested that it's a six-month lunar calendar, but um, this would not really support the calendar idea. D, the proximity of a likeness of Venus, a common Paleolithic representation of a woman. Um, you know, there is this idea that it's uh, tracking a, a female menstrual, cy menstrual cycle, um, but that's not the same thing as a calendar. So this is less good, certainly less good than something that has months and days on it. Um, e, a bone with 15 odd numbers of notches on one side and 15 even numbers on the other. I don't know how you get from that to a calendar. Um, I certainly can't, so that's not going to be it either. So the one that is best support for a calendar is the one that practically is a calendar on its own. 12 groups of roughly 30 notches each. That's uh, 360 days. That's a pretty good accurate guess for a year. Choice A.